Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. Here's what we have in store for you for this July 29th, 2013 edition. Tonight, the government promises to stop lying, while the CIA will now openly propagandize the American public. And Gigi Ernetta sits down with Mike Zullo to discuss Barack Obama's falsified documents. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story headline. Government promises to stop lying. Well, there's a lie right there because of Drudge Report spotlight. On Thursday, the DOD bemoaned DrudgeReport.com and the fact that because of citizen journalists, social media, and other online platforms reporting news in real time, the public is more quickly becoming aware of the constant patterns and contradictions and habitual lying by the government. And this is a quote here. We cannot hide our bad news stories. Bad news gets out one way or the other, and we must come to terms with telling bad stories as well as good. So I like what they say there. They don't even try to hide it anymore. It's just, you know, we're out there lying to you, and this is what we're going to do, and we'll try to do a little bit better job. And I just want to look at one more point in the article. The DOD's announcement that it will become more engaged with journalists is even more unsettling in the light of the fact that just two weeks ago, the CIA was given a green light to flood America with even more propaganda. So, propaganda, let's see what this is. We told you about this two weeks ago. CIA will now openly propagandize Americans because they weren't supposed to be doing this, but then they just came out and said, well, under the NDAA, you can thank your good President Obama for that one. We'll propagandize you any way we see fit. And this is in reaction to the smith munt Modernization Act of 2012, passed as part of the NDAA, which will allow the CIA to flood America with even more government propaganda. So I definitely encourage you to go and read that for yourself. Yeah, that, that's what it is right there, CIA. CIA, Operation Mockingbird, it's all right there in the article. Now, if you're wondering what's going to happen, what's going to be different from the things I see on TV already, and you know, by and large, you probably are correct with your major networks, a lot of propaganda being pushed on those already, but we have this mock DHS news report depicts gun owners as terrorists. We interrupt our regular programming for this special report. Reports of possible illegal activity by a local militia group appears to have spurred law enforcement into action. John Gleason has our story. This is the scene of an intensive investigation into the operations of an extremist group reportedly planning a series of terrorist attacks on U.S. cities. Details are sketchy, but allegedly the militia was using this house to store a cache of military weapons. A hazmat unit is now inside the house searching for evidence, while behind me are other local fire and hazmat teams. The FBI is here, as well as other agencies. Earlier today, police raided the house and arrested two men on charges of illegal possession of firearms, but they apparently found more than they were bargaining for. And I love the pageantry of all this. You got the guys in the full hazmat suits for a couple guys who have guns and maybe they weren't supposed to have guns for X, Y, Z reason. And then you see the cop running up to the, to the camera guy at the end like, no, no, no. Had that been the city of Boston, which actually happened, you'd have cops pointing guns at people uh, in the faces. Are we showing you those clips of the cop running down the street like he is Rambo, pointing the guns in the, in the cameraman's faces and so forth. And this is what's going on. They want you to be brainwashed pretty much to the point of being a lab animal. Rand Paul targets Egyptian aid. Paul's amendment comes as growing numbers of senators are rebelling against the White House's decision not to call the Mohammed Morsi ouster a military coup. And it goes on to talk about the $1.5 billion in nearly, uh, mostly, military costs. The foreign aid skeptic proposes spending money on the country's crumbling bridges instead. And I'm definitely understanding the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I'm from, we have very bad roads and bridges, and I'm not kidding you, we've had seven-foot concrete slabs fall out from the bottom of bridges and almost kill people. So our roads are in very bad shape in Oklahoma. I'm not sure how they are in the rest of the country, but we could definitely use that aid in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And more on this, you know, they have the, the, the aid going to these, this Egyptian group. Uh, Morsi, you know, you have the whole military coup, which the United States does not want to admit that they're involved in, or at least call it a coup to the point they could be convicted or not necessarily convicted, but I guess convicted in the state of public opinion of helping these people ouster a coup, uh, something that we're definitely not supposed to be involved in. Meanwhile, I believe it was 17 people were killed this past weekend in clashes with Egyptian security forces. So that's the situation going on, and I definitely think we need to watch where our money is going, especially when it's $1.5 billion. Meanwhile, Obama's having private golf lessons with Tiger Woods and so forth. 
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.